Wow. Um, listen, I can sit here and bash West of Westbrook. Obviously, it's a team game. Um, but this is the thing that Stephen A. Smith was talking about, you know? Um, and he's probably going to elaborate on this tomorrow and saying... The same thing I'm saying right now. Where's the Westbrook? He can't get the job done. You know, Brown was not going to be in the game. You had Jason Tatum. You had Marcus Smart. Can be. Kemba, I should say. And Jason Tatum dropped 50. Now, obviously, in um, in West of Westbrook's defense, he had Ultramaru. He had uh, uh, Robin Lopez, and he had Bradley Bill, who was coming off a calf injury. They. I think in the, I think it was a, I think it was around, I think it was around the fourth quarter. They couldn't even buy a shot. It was like ninety six to like eighty eight, and they couldn't even buy a shot. You know, Westbrook was just breaking. Lopez, Lopez was just doing Lopez, and Bradley Bill was just off. You know, and now a lot of people are gonna blame it on the injuries. Oh, if he wasn't healthy, or if he wasn't injured. Or if his calf wasn't bothering him, he would have gone out there and put it all in the line. It wouldn't matter, you know. It wouldn't matter at all. Um, it wouldn't matter at all. So now that they're eliminated, um. Are they eliminated? Cause I know the Celtics and the uh, and the Pacers is gonna play. The Hornets is already eliminated, right? Somebody's gonna have to face the. Somebody's gonna have to face Philly because there's two slots, right? So I believe. I really don't know how this shit works. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. Okay, so Boston is going to take on uh, the Brooklyn Nets, right? So who's going to take on Philly? The winner of... Y'all can let me know in the comment section down below because I'm really... Because I thought I had it in my mind. I was like saying like, okay, so if the Wizards eliminated, that means the Celtics advance, right? Pacers blew out the Hornets. So it's going to be the Pacers. So I guess it's going to be the Pacers. So I guess it's going to be the Pacers and the... In, in the Sixers, and it's going... Okay, I got it now. It's going to be the Celts... It's going to be the Celtics and Nets, and it's going to be the Pacers and Celt, uh, Sixers. Okay, I got it. Never mind. Um, but... Like, I didn't want to sit here and bash Westbrook, but he deserves the blame. Now, we all wanted to see a Russell Westbrook versus Kevin Durant and, you know what I'm saying, Brooklyn. But we all know that Brooklyn was probably going to sweep them, you know. I mean, Wizards was probably going to get two or one games out of that series. But I think it was probably going to end even worse. 
uh, for them. So we all the Wizards did it all. Did the Wizards did this all a favor, and they didn't even try. Well, I'm not saying that they they didn't try, but they did us all a favor and got eliminated quickly because we all know how that series was going to end out. Brooklyn was probably going to either swept them or the Wizards was probably going to take two games out of that series or probably just one. You know what I'm saying? I don't think the Nets was just going to sweep them. Um, but, you know, Celtics are a pretty good team as well. Um, so... You know, uh, that's gonna be a good game. Uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a hell of a good game. Um, the one thing that the Celtics lack, uh, that the, the the Nets can really take advantage of, is they don't have. Oh yeah, they got Tristan Thompson. Never mind. I I, I totally forgot that the Celtics have Tristan Thompson, who's not a bad defender. You know what I'm saying? Um. You got Kimbo, you got Jason Tatum, so they match up pretty well. I think this game is probably going to go to 7, 6, 5, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna probably going to be a dogfight, you know? Expect no sweeps in this in this series, you know? Uh, we all know the Brooklyn Nets is going to have the first two games at home. We all know that. So they probably might go 2-0 and to start the series, and then it's going to go back to Boston, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, if 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 the if the um if the Celtics can get one of these games, it, 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 not one of these games, but if the Celtics can still one of these games at Barkley at the Barkley Center, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. So let's say the Nets win Game One. Okay, boom, Celtics bounce back and they basically beat. Uh, the the uh, the Nets. So now it's one to one, right? So now the last uh, the next two home games is gonna be where. You know what I'm saying at Boston. So the turn the the tides can turn very quickly. You know what I'm saying. So uh, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping that the Nets is gonna win game one. Celtics is gonna come back. You know. Punch the Nets in the mouth, and the Nets is going to win the next two games at home. And ending the Nets' season, because I think the bus stops in the first round. Nets ain't going any further. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll see how it all pans out. Uh, so, yeah, man. So, I mean, like I said, man, Westbrook... Man, what to say about Westbrook, man? What to say about Westbrook? You know, and people are still going to come to his defense. It states the obvious. When the bright lights are better, when the bright lights are bigger, he just can't get it done. You know? Because um, if you play anybody in that position, they would have willed their team. I mean, Westbrook can't shoot. 8 for 14. He cannot shoot just 40, no, 20 points. I mean, imagine if he shot 40 points. He was obviously awful from beyond the rack. We all know he's not a great three-point shooter. But I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and say one nice thing about Westbrook because I don't want to come on here and you know, act like a villain. I don't want to be a villain. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. But people have to understand that if you if you can't get it done in the big games, then why are you playing for? Are you just playing for stat pats? Like, that. that's... Or are you just playing for triple doubles? You know, like, is Westbrook going to average another 200 triple doubles? 300? <laughs> I mean... Well, I'm not going to go that far. I might, he might probably get to 200 triple-doubles the way he's playing, you know. Because um, I, I don't know how that thing works, you know. Because I don't know if next year 
he would have to average a triple double for the next three years, or for the next three yeah three years he would have to, he would have to average a triple double to reach two hundred, you know, because he already passed Oscar. He, I think he tied or passed Oscar Robinson. I'm not much, I'm not sure. I mean, they already made a custom jersey, one eighty four. So that's that that that's bananas right there, you know. Um, but you know, Wesley Westbrook is is one of those guys that's never gonna get a child that's never going to win a ring, which obviously it doesn't really really matter to him because he's making millions of dollars. So it doesn't really matter if he wins a ring or not, you know. I mean, you look at all the players from the '90s who didn't win a ring. Are they sour? Are they, you know, like, you know, is is Charles Barkley mad and bitter that he never won a ring? No, you know, um, like it just doesn't really matter to him. You know, what I'm saying he like I I believe that he didn't he didn't play the game just to win a ring. You know, what I'm saying like I think he just. You know, play the game to expire, to inspire kids. I say expire, to inspire kids all around the world. You know, and that's a good thing. You know, what I'm saying that's a very good thing. You know, because a lot of these kids these days need role models, and you know, if if, if y'all going, if kids out there are killing each other, who's who's the future role models? You know, like I think. You know, people just set bad examples, and kids now these days, you know, whatever they see, they're going to go out there and emulate, you know what I'm saying? So, I think one thing I can probably say about, one good thing I can say about Westbrook is he's a better influence influencer type of basketball player, you know? Um, he, he says all the right things, he does all the right things. He's never into trouble with the law or he's never in news with, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's one of those players that she you wants your kids to look up to, you know? You know, for inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's your favorite player? Oh, my favorite player is Westbrook, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, the, I think that's the one thing good about him. But, I mean, I don't know. His move, his career moving forward, man, I don't know. I don't know. Um... I don't know, you know, people like Max and Stephen A. Smith is going to get on them, especially Stephen A. I don't know about Max, but especially Stephen A. They're going to get on his ass and he's going to say, see, see what I told you? This is why, this is why Westbrook is never going to amount to anything, you know, because he chokes in big games. He does like 20 points is not going to get it done in the playoffs. 20 point shooting 8 of 14 is not is not going to get it done in the playoffs. You know? Like, Ochimaru has to play way better than just 8 points. You know, Bradley Bill was the only one that was, you know, spilling his guts out on the floor. You know what I'm saying? But, obviously, Celtics was just too much. Even without Brown, there was just too much. You know? Even with or without Brown, I think they were still one. But, you know, Brown just adds that different element, you know what I'm saying? Which I think it's going to hurt them when it comes to Brooklyn. But I think with the mindset that they have, I think they can pull it off. You know what I'm saying? So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and each other. And um, I did not expect this, this the, the Spurs to blow out the Hornets. I mean, I picked the I picked the Hornets to win, but I didn't think it was gonna get blown out. But you know, lesson learned. They're still learning. You know, what I'm saying it's it's still a young team. So uh, this is a life lesson. You know, what I'm saying uh, they're gonna take that and grow and get better. You know, what I'm saying, and they'll probably be right back here next year. You know, whether they keep the playing tournament or not. Because, you know, F what the fans think. Who the hell the fans are? The fans ain't nobody. You know, they're still going to pay their, they still gonna pay their hard-earned money to come see y'all players play. So why are they complaining? It's the LeBron James effect. Like, nobody cares. 
I don't care what LeBron James think. I don't care what y'all think. I think that playing tournament is pretty good. It's pretty awesome. You know, it gives you a chance. It gives teams chances, you know, you know, and nobody even have a bad record. You know, if you really look at it, the Pacers don't have a bad record. The, the Hornets, the Wizards, the Celtics, the Warriors, the Lakers, the Memphis Grizzlies, the San Antonio Spurs, they all don't have bad records, you know? Now, on the flip side, if you see football, football, yeah, if you have a bad record, you can always get in as a wild card, you know what I'm saying? You don't have that in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? So, if you want to get mad at that, you know, imagine if some bad team beats your, like, the, the, the damn Denver Broncos, you know, beating the number one, you know, seed in the NFL, which was the Steelers, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nobody expected that to happen. It was supposed to be the Steelers and the Patriots. But obviously the Patriots handled business and blew out the Broncos 45 to 10. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I think their playing tournament is a great idea. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think they should keep it. But like I said, man, F what the fans think. You know, the fans don't even know anything, to be honest with you, you know. Uh, they're not even in tune with sports anyways. They just they just play favoritism, you know? It is what it is. But like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.